Remove the platform board and unscrew the nut with your hand, then keep it aside as a spare. Remove the screws that secure the heated bed in the middle, and take off the heated bed board. Keep the springs and pillars aside as spares. Remove the screws that secure the timing belt clamp and touch limit switch. Keep the screws aside as spares. Remove the rear panel of the Y axis and keep it as a spare. Take out the Y axis slider plate from the profile. Remove the 6 POM wheels from the slider plate. Install M48 screws and M40 nuts on the long and short beams respectively. Secure the long beam to the profile. Start with the left side to align with the slots created by the screws on the empty machine. Then secure the short beam to the profile. Starting from the holes on the long beam, secure the linear guide onto the long beam. Secure the brass standoff onto the slider. Use M3 screws to fasten the support plate onto the brass pillars, and place the silicone gasket on top of the threaded holes of the support plate. Secure the slider plate onto the support plate using M5 screws, paying attention to the orientation of the slider plate. Start by fastening the two small holes on the slider plate. Tighten the timing belt clamp and tighten the screws of the touch limit switch. Secure the Y axis for your panel onto the profile. Reinstall the heated bed onto the slider plate, making sure not to forget the pillars and springs. Place the platform board back onto the heated bed. 